an asteroid of this size might hit Mars every thousand years or so. Uh, there's a lot more Mars crossing asteroids than Earth crossing asteroids because it's closer to the main asteroid belt. But uh, the Mars is a much smaller target, and, uh, and so it's harder to hit. This asteroid is going to cross the orbit of Mars on January 30th, about 3 a.m. Pacific time. But it could be early, it could be late, about eight hours, in fact, is the uh, uncertainty in our arrival time. And that makes it uncertain to whether or not Mars will actually be there when it crosses this orbit. If it's early or if it's late, Mars won't be in the way. If this asteroid actually does hit Mars, the, uh, there would be a tremendous amount of energy released, something like three megatons of TNT. Uh, it would hit at about 13 and a half kilometers per second, and, uh, and, and an impact like that might create a crater in something like a half a mile across. Technicians remove external tank foam. Technicians working at Kennedy Space Center's Launch Pad 39A 